Hudson will have uh, twenty dollars down the drain, so he stops. <laughs> Back to the centre, and we see Hawthorne seven uh, nine fifty one, and looking mighty good. Uh, new ball coming out as it out. Yeah, I think I that one out of the ground. I, I don't think that'll help Aston much. I think they want about five new balls, particularly down there in their forward, and when the ball is up the other end of the ground. They want they want one each, I think. Yeah, I'd say so. Back to the centre. They've only uh, ten points. They're forty one points down at the moment, the nine minute mark. Back to the centre. This is turning out to be a nice one horse race. Up it goes. Knocked out that time by Torbert. Kicked away by Rice. Has a go for Tuck. It's all Hawthorne as he drops the ball short in front is Peyton. Punched away again by uh, Scanlon. Comes out to uh, Watson. That's the first time I've seen him touch the ball. Back it goes to Martello. Back again it goes to Rice. They're doing as they like Hawthorne as it goes out to that forward pocket. Coming out as Matthews. A kick across towards the centre half forward position. And Scanlon takes a mark. And a free kick in the bar. Free kick to, uh, no, it's Bell, I'm sorry, Bell it is to take that one. Bell goes for a pass, it's a shocking one out to uh, out to uh, Fletcher, but he's on his own, he's got plenty of time if he hurries up and finally boots the ball back towards that half forward line, but there's no one there for uh, Essendon, picked up by uh, Halwin, a hand pass coming over to uh, Jeff Ablett, who jutes the ball back to the forward pocket, and a mark taken down there by uh, Robin Close of Essendon. He'll be looking downfield, possibly hopeful for Roberts to mark. The kick coming on its way now. The kick won't travel to Roberts. In front is Ablett. Coming over the back to Spoles. Ablett plays on quickly. A hand pass over to Michael Tuck. He's in trouble. Got a long hand pass toward Rollings. The ball won't bounce kindly for him. Oh, Steve rolling through there was Deegan. But oh, Andrews picked Rollings up on that occasion also. Rollings still going. Not getting much help from his teammates either. And now he got fifth again. Martello comes on the scene. We could have a bit of a dust up. We want something anyhow, we a pretty dull game. Now Knights came into Andrews, and a round by round description coming up now. There's a van der Haar in there. He let a, I don't know whether he let one go or not, the umpires come out. Kenny Fletcher went down like a stunned Gosling. And now the umpires are talking to uh, all the players, concerned Andrews, Peter Knights. That's not a bad buddy for a young umpire, is it? Louis Rowan Saws having his fifth BFL game. Now Harvey Lyons going down talking to Peter Knights. I think he should be telling him to calm down. It's not worth getting reported for. Lyons having a good chat to uh, uh, to Peter Knights. The umpires have saw Ellis Hudson up in the goal square too. Just, just got, hello, it's on again. Kenny Roberts in this time. Oh, it could be on any time. There's a shot up further upfield. Rollins just had a shot for goal if interested and put it through. So Hawthorne moves their score on to eight goals, nine. <laughs> a bit of excitement there, I like this. 8 9 57, and Essendon on one goal for 10 points. And there's a bit of an excitement, you can feel it in the air now. Anything can happen. You can say that again, and uh, that's most unusual for Knights. He ran from the centre half back uh, position to up end uh, Andrews, and uh, there's Don Scott. He's been in a few things today, and let's see what the action is because the game itself is not too hot, but. Remember there's I said plenty before, of fireworks. I said before that Scotty had stirred them up a bit on the outer side. Oh, I think position. they might have been stirred up before that Andrews has been having a go there too. And let's see what's going to happen now. Jack down, she goes. Scott going in again. A chance now for Welsh to kick the ball. Welsh to kick the ball back. Parkinghorn takes the mark and uh, he's got that out there on the wing position. A 15 metre penalty as he goes for a play on now. Over to Manane. And Manane drives it over the centre half forward position. And a good mark taken there by Neagle. Quickly plays on. Gets the ball out towards the wing position. Coming out, there is uh, Crow, and Crow's got the mark. A long hand pass. Oh, it bounces the wrong way for Walsh. He's in trouble now as he tries to get it out. Aston fumbling the ball badly. Kicked off the ground by Crow. Picked up here now by Bell. Driven around towards the half forward line for Aston. Up they go. Had a chance now. He's paid the mark to O'Hallon. I think that was a bit, uh, little bit timid that when he hardly held the ball at all. And a 15-metre penalty against the Roberts. What they have to do, Lou, is make sure they get control of the game, and that's exactly what they're doing. He's, he's penalising every little thing that happens. OK, there we go again. Back towards the centre of the ground. It's Van der Haar. Oh, he uh, couldn't get the kick. Just about tripped up O'Halloran again. There's going to be plenty of firework before this match is over, I'd say. Back it goes. And a chance here from Mark to Marcello. Good play as he gets the ball over to Matthews, and he's down. There'll be a free kick up the field here and a mark to Hudson as well. He could have lost that, you know, because Hudson puts close out now. Well, it was a free kick yeah. up the field in any case, Jack. So we wait now for Hudson to go for his third goal. He's only about uh, 45 metres out from goal. You can see the goals in the background there as Hudson comes in for his kick. The kick by Hudson. Not a bad one, but it goes right across the face of goals. 
Up in the air they go, and the ball is out of bounds in the forward pocket. Well, Hudson's been having that shot for goal. Louis Harvey Lyons, the umpire, was talking to Ron Andrews of Essendon. Well, he might have been asking where his relations were going. Well, Bucket goes again. Monane overruns the ball. Matthews is in there trying to get it out. And the umpire's going to play a free kick to Matthews. And he's not too happy, Fletcher, the captain of Essendon. He said, well, what are we supposed to do out there? How are the free kicks going? What, what are they in favour of Essendon, uh, Hawthorne? We'll find out in a minute when Mick adds them up. We wait now for Matthews to have his shot from about uh, 35 metres out from goal directly in front. The kick is a good one. One point. Oh, well, the free kicks are even, so we can't growl there, or Eston supporters can't growl there. So it's Hawthorne, eight goals, 10.58 to Eston, one for 10 points. 14 minutes gone, and it's been 14 minutes of fireworks, even though the Bombers aren't playing too well. There's the kick by close to the half of back flank position. Walsh free kicked on that occasion. And Eston now play on through Walsh, down toward Crow, who's out toward the centre of the ground. Oh, I think Knight's called, leave it, and that's what Crow did. And Peter Nides took the easy chest mark right in the centre of Princess Park. The kick by Nides travelling back to from whence it came. Martello by himself and made a very and made that mark look a bit harder than it was. There's a, uh, the kick by Martello toward Hudson. Oh, over the top. That was bad football from Murphy. He spilled Hudson completely. He'll get a wrap across the knuckles for that. Here's a chance for Folds now. Driving uh, the kick coming out toward Folds. The Abler doing some balking, looking for a free, free kick. Whistle is... sounds and Abler got it. Will take the kick from the half forward zone. Ball on its way toward the to Matthews at the back of the pack. Andrews got up. Matthews chips in, took it. Hand pass comes out. Close as there. Newton's there also for Essendon. The little kick comes out of the pack. It won't be any mark. Been tapped out by Payton. Hand pass comes to Matthews. He goes forward. Hand passes to Hudson. He got it through. He got it through. The umpire hasn't yet indicated if it was a goal because another clash between Hudson and Andrews. The umpire now indicates that that was all clear. And Hudson has kicked his uh, 